After I made my video about Devil May Cry 5 on the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 about the topic VRR, verbal refresh rate, I received a lot of comments, especially about the topic why I haven't used FreeSync on the LG ZX in combination with the Xbox Series X. Some people claiming that FreeSync can deliver a much better experience compared to HDMI VRR. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's start with Devil May Cry on the Xbox Series X in VRR. So no FreeSync activated at the moment. And we're testing the 120 FPS mode because this mode actually runs very nice, but you have uh, stuttering at some point as well. And I will show you this. Okay, so in my other video, I showed you this already. And what I did was exactly the same. When I'm turning around, everything is very nice and smooth and you can actually see this is 120 FPS here. Perfect, really nice, absolutely clear. But as soon as we're looking out the door here, we have stuttering. And I'm very sure you're able to see this on your screen as well because I'm recording with 60 FPS at the moment. And the rest of the game is running actually here with 120 FPS. So it should be very smooth or there shouldn't be any stuttering on your screen at the moment. But as soon you look outside the door, it is stuttering. So that proves one thing that VRR actually is not working in this game. But I proved this already the other day. But some users actually claiming I should enable FreeSync because then there is no stuttering at all or it works much better. So let's just do this on the fly here. We're jumping into additional settings using premium and we're just enabling this and I can tell you already there is no difference. Okay, so let's go out. Let's bring the menu up here again. Freezing is activated and let's do this again. You have exactly the same stuttering. There is no difference. Also when I'm restarting my Xbox or turning off the uh, TV, there is no difference at all. It will not change. So freezing has no advantage in any game what I tested so far. And yeah, that's why I'm using HDMI VRR because so far I haven't found any benefit or yeah, advantage from FreeSync at all. So FreeSync is really just made for GPUs from AMD, which having or not supporting the HDMI 2.1 protocol, because this is the big advantage from FreeSync. You can actually have verbal refresh rate um, without having HDMI 2.1 through HDMI. So I think AMD actually started to support verbal refresh rate with HDMI 1.4, but I might be wrong. Anyway, so this proves a point in this game and on my LG ZX in my, and my Xbox Series X that FreeSync has no advantage over HDMI VRR. Okay, and now we're testing the game Omno it's on Game Pass at the moment. So that's why yeah, I'm able to test it. And this has a very great VRR support actually in the game. So it really works great without VRR. You have yeah, sometimes a lot of stuttering, let's say like this. With VRR or freezing enabled, there's no stuttering at all. And what I like to show you is um, especially this menu or this scene here, because um, you can see actually that we have 60 FPS. If you look at the counter, we have 60 FPS all the time. It's very nice. It's of course not compa uh, comparable with 120 FPS. You clearly can see this, a lot of motion blur. But when we go here, you can actually see the dropping to 50 frames per second. Okay. So just have a look on the picture what is happening. I hope you can actually see this. That when it comes to the drop from 50, from, sorry, from 60 to 50 FPS here, around here where the trees are, uh, there's a, a little bit of uh, a stop in the picture. Just focus. I hope you can see this. And I can clearly feel this. You can, um, or let's say like this. I can see where we're dropping 10 frames per second. And this is with FreeSync active at the moment, okay? But again, it's not really stuttering. I just can see that we suddenly have 10 frames less, which is a lot when we're talking about 60 FPS. Okay, so let's just disable freezing and let's have a look if VRR is doing anything better and spoiler alert, not at all. 
it will be exactly the same. Let me just jump here out. Let me bring up the menu again. Take, leave it here. So you can see 60 FPS and we do exactly the same. I can see that there's exactly here at some point, look at the counter, we're dropping 10 frames again. And exactly when we're reaching this point, it's exactly the same stop. It's, it's not really a stopping, but it's slowing down. I can see it's slowing down. And this is exactly the same behavior as with freezing. And by the way, the reason why I'm uh, limiting my LGCX to 60 hertz at this very moment, this game does not exceed 60 FPS at all. And it is so much easier to show you this in 60 hertz because the VRR information at this very moment is correct. So we're talking about 50 hertz or 50 frames. And this is also to consider every time when VRR is activated and VRR is working, hertz and FPS are equal, absolutely the same. So this is again a game where VRR is actually working just perfectly on the Xbox Series X, but it proves another point or again, that there is no difference between FreeSync and HDMI VRR. Okay, what is my conclusion now? On my LG ZX, and I like to make this very clear, on my LG ZX 65 inch in combination with my Xbox Series X, there is no difference between FreeSync and HDMI VRR. No difference at all. I never experienced any problem with HDMI VRR. I never experienced any problem with FreeSync or the G-Sync compatibility mode from my PC. No problems at all. But I like to make this again very, very clear on my LG ZX, okay? If you're using a different type of TV, maybe, maybe there is an issue with HDMI VRR. Maybe there is an issue with FreeSync or with G-Sync or whatever, yeah, whatever your TV supports, okay? But again, on my LG ZX 65 inch, there is no problem at all and there shouldn't be a difference at all because freezing, G-Sync, HDMI VRR are doing exactly the same. There is no difference, especially not when you connect uh, this on the same TV. Don't expect anything else because it's all going over HDMI port and HDMI port is using a certain VR range on your TV. There is nothing what freezing or any other yeah, option will do differently. Not a chance, okay? And also something um, what I need to bring up. Um, FreeSync was actually or was made by AMD because um, back then there was no, no chance actually when you had a HDMI connection that you can use VRR. But as far as I understand or learned, AMD already started with HDMI 1.4 to support VRR. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong with 1.4, but for sure with, with GPUs with HDMI 2.0, 2.0B probably, okay? But this is the reason why we have freezing, that you can use this TV with all the GPUs. That's the only reason. Or the reason is that you can use your Xbox on an older monitor without any HDMI 2.1 port. That's the reason for freezing, nothing else, because um, HDMI VRR, was officially integrated in HDMI with version 2.1, but it supported VRR already with version since I think I think since version 2.0b. Not quite sure about this, okay? But this is the only reason why AMD started to do FreeSync, which is great because again there was no option back then to use HDMI or to use the HDMI protocol to have an older CPU connected, okay? So you you needed HDMI 2.1. So. Again, I'd like to wrap this up here. Um, again, FreeSync, HDMI, VR, no difference at all on my LG ZX. If you know any game where you're experiencing a difference between those two modes, please put it in the comment section. I'm more than happy to test this because that's what my channel is about. I like to test if stuff is working as it should be and there shouldn't be any difference at all, okay? Thank you very much for watching me. i see you guys next time. Bye.